Good morning. Welcome to Internet Roundup. I'm Chuck. That's Josh. Enjoying my La Croix. Josh is drinking a mysterious yellow beverage. <laughs> a urine <laughs> colored drink. What is that? Why is it in a cup? That's unusual. I, I didn't want to buzz market anyone. So you poured it in a Staples cup? <laughs> I peed into that cup. Uh, what cup? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, welcome to Internet Roundup, the ad-free edition. <laughs> All right. Uh, we do stuff you should know during the week, and on Saturday nights, we come in here yep. to record Internet Roundup. Yeah. All for you guys yep. and ladies. All right. So uh, what are we doing today? Well, Chuck, we're talking cocaine. Yeah, the cocaine. Um, I didn't know that human mules were still quite as, uh, I thought that was more of a, like an 80s thing. Apparently, not only are you still doing it, they've gotten way better at it. Yeah. Because the only time you heard about it in the 80s was when um, like somebody small swallowed a condom full of, of coke and it erupted. Right. And they died. Sure. Or were like... I'm wasted. Right. <laughs> uh, nowadays, they can find them, and without anybody suffering any um, ill effects, they, they just apparently confess when you take them off to the side and say, mm. Do you have a bunch of cocaine in your stomach? Right. <laughs> yeah, you caught me. Well, I think the what... answer to that, if you're a cocaine mule, is yeah. no. Yeah, sure. That's that's usually the pat answer. Prove apparently, it. Apparently, not the case with Matthew Lawson. Yeah, he uh, admitted to swallowing 115 pellets of cocaine, two pounds, more than two pounds. Almost a kilogram of cocaine. Unbelievable. In and his stomach all at one time. Yeah, he was arrested uh, in Fort Lauderdale in September, and um, they said that he looked uh, basically kind of nervous, <laughs> and uh, immediately extremely nervous behavior, uh-uh. and it seems like pretty quickly after they pulled him aside, he admitted to it. Yeah. So I don't know if he was afraid that they were rupturing, or I don't even know what a cocaine pellet is. Uh, yeah, no, I I think it's um, well, it's a pellet of cocaine. Yeah, but it, it's wrapped in something, right? Sure, it is, and he apparently wasn't in any kind of danger because he passed them over the next five days. Yeah, they were kind enough not to open them up and remove them. They, they just, just gave let him a room with a toilet. Poop them out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a toilet with like a, a colander or something in it. Sure. So um, he's not the only one that's. Uh, what are called body packers or internal smugglers. He and he apparently this is not the first time he did it. He'd been doing it for five years and had to work his way up. Um, he was obviously not downing 115 pellets right out of the gate. No, he he started I think 15. They said. Yeah, and he said, "Let me get up to 100 plus that." Yeah, the thing <laughs> is though, his what he was getting paid to do this extraordinarily risky thing was peanuts, if you ask me. Yeah, between four and five thousand dollars. For more than two pounds of coke, that's that seems like not enough for that risk. Yeah, you know? I agree. He was an Uber driver on the side too. That was my favorite part. <laughs> <I guess>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's not the only one. There recently, apparently, and this happens in waves. I guess they catch mules, mm-hmm. body packers. A guy named uh, Jervon Davis from Jamaica was found recently um, for swallowing eighty pellets, and he vomited those up. Yeah. Which I don't know which way of getting those back up is worse, vomiting them or pooping them, or pellets out. I don't know. I don't think it matters. Either way, it's coming out. And then a lady named Regis Walker uh, treated herself to some honey-coated cocaine pellets that she smuggled. Yeah, and she learned that by watching TV. Yeah. From a show called The Mule on Netflix. Yep. So Netflix rides again. Yeah. So that's story one. Cocaine mules are alive and well. Uh, okay, Chuck, so for the next story, we go over to um, something called the Useless Web. <laughs> yeah, boy, is this useless. <laughs> I, I love this website, though. So <clears throat> you go to the uselessweb.com, mm-hmm. and on it, it's just a page that says, take me to a useless website, and then you click please. Yeah. And in a new tab, it opens up all sorts of different, it's all subjective, but pretty much useless websites. Yeah. One of my favorites that it's taken me to a couple of times is this website called staggeringbeauty.com. And we should say, if you have uh, epilepsy or are prone to seizures, mm-hmm. you should be very careful here because, um, and be careful watching this too, w- when you go to Staggering Beauty, there is, well, Chuck thinks it looks like something else. I think it looks like a um, Miyazaki ghost. 
from like Spirited Away or something like that. I think it looks like a uh, flexible hot dog. Okay. Or the thing they invented for the 96 Olympics, those air dancing things. Was that invented for the 96 Olympics? Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, and uh, when you shake this thing vigorously and get it going, really, it does that, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, but And that's about all it does. But the useless web, the whole reason we mentioned this is the useless web is a really great website that you can just spend hours doing all sorts of neat stuff with. Yeah, some might argue that much of the web is useless. Yeah, well, the useless web they really puts con- that front and center. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you got anything else? No, that's all I got. All righty. Well, uh, thanks for watching this Saturday night, and we'll see you next Saturday night mm-hmm. on Internet Roundup. <laughs>